Well, you see, we are Nigerians, and I believe citizenship is very important. One day, I pray that one day we will become like America, like UK, like France, where citizens override all other considerations, regional, religious, ethnic, tribal. All these things is because we didn't take that citizenship as we are supposed to take it. Voters are supposed to determine, not me, not you, not any regional governor. Voters will determine who do they want to elect. Every Nigerian citizen should come up with something that he's going to offer to the people. Sell himself. This is what I have for education. This is what I have for housing. This is what I have for all the infrastructure provision and so on. Human development. And then they will compare and see between Mr. A and Mr. B, who is supposed to be our president. It's not regional. Okay, l let me just ask you one question. Let's say now we zone it to River State. Even within rivers, you will say that it's Ijo, that is this, that is that, and this location. Is it politics? Constitution is very clear. People are political literates because they don't read the Constitution. Even if they read, because of personal interest, like he said, and selfish interest, they want to acquire power by allocation. It's not done in politics. People should be allowed to go and contest, present themselves, offer what they want to offer to the nation, and the Nigerians will decide and see who is going to be our best president. It's not by allocation. So zoning or no zoning, that is not an issue. As far as I'm concerned, it is democracy. And democracy has some uh, principles and practice that has to be followed. Nobody will sit in Lagos and say, if these governors were elected, were they elected based on zoning from their states? No. Go to Rivers, I mean, uh, Benue State. Tell them that it is now the turn of Ido Idomas. Will you force the tips to, to, to vote for, for that Idoma? But if they have a, an Idoma candidate that is very good, very credible, I'm sure the tips will not say he's an Idoma. That's what we should aspire as Nigerians, to make sure that citizenship is more important to us than any other thing, any what other consideration. We, we are going to get there, but this is the way we are going to get there. Because if we follow your route, we will not get there at all. We will never get there. If we start thinking of zoning, we will never get to citizenship. Well, I don't see anybody language as a law or as a document that should guide us in politicking. As far as I'm concerned, democracy is guided by a constitution, by a law, rule of law. It is not personal interest of people, selfish interest of individuals, or the projection by other people's statements that will guide a democracy. If you look at all other parts of the world, other countries, from America that is the leader of democracy of the world, citizens are guided by the document called Constitution to aspire for any office. As far as I'm concerned, Nigerian Constitution of today, uh, my party Constitution of today, unless there is any amendment in the future, has uh, declared that every Nigerian who is qualified based on the qualification that is enshrined in the Constitution, described, should aspire for any office of the land, governor, minister, I mean uh, state assembly, uh, national assembly. And therefore, as far as I'm concerned, my Constitution, both party and national, has not bad me from contesting for presidency. So no statement of any group can stop me. Because you see, if tomorrow my party comes up and say, we have zoned presidency to the south, I, I, Yerima will follow it. I will now then know that it's a decision, legal and lawful, that is binding on all members of the party. But so long as the constitution is still saying Nigerian, citizens of Nigeria, an APC constitution is saying every citizen of Nigeria, I'm a citizen of Nigeria and I'm going to contest by the grace of God. You see, you see, I am a very religious person, as a Muslim, I know that power comes from God first. And if God destined that I'm going to be the president, that should not happen. By taking that decision of my party, I have never left my party. I started with APP. We merged and become ANPP. 
and later merged and become APC. So I'm a member of APC and I'm not in any way thinking of moving from my party to another party. So once that is done in, I know that my time is off. But I'm sure that God himself uh, will decide, not people. 